Hey guys, it's me again, Joe, you can say reader, and welcome to another video. And for today, I'm going to do another reading wrap-up, the second episode of the books I recently read. In case you missed the first episode, I'll be putting the link on the description below. Anyway, let's just dive right into the books I recently read, Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. It is a middle grade fantasy and I've been hearing a lot of good things about this years ago. It was okay. It was not that great. It was okay. It kind of resembles a lot of things from Harry Potter. I can see the inspiration. Harry Potter is already done. And if I want something that is kind of similar to Harry Potter, I guess this is going to be a great option. We're going to follow great set of characters they were really flesh out really raw and it was really promising um the first book was really solid it was really promising it really uh, made me want to pick the second book which is exile so overall it was a good read um it was really enjoyable i did not really have any uh or did, did really had any um dry moments or it was not really dragging it was really fast paced and there's really a lot of things happening and um, the tropes of the characters going into a magical school for them to train their abilities was kind of refreshing for me because I personally like those kinds of tropes. There's If there's one thing that I did not like about The Keeper of Lost Cities by Shadow Messenger, and that is the main character, she kind of acted older than her age. She was around 13 or 14 years old, but she acted like she's around 30 or 40 years old, which kind of put me off uh, and uh, it was not really easy to follow or believe her. Aside from that, I did not really like also how she was really overpowered. Of course, I'm not going to dive into presenting about her ability so that I don't, you know, I don't spoil you guys. But she was really overpowered. Um, that's it. Like, that's that's how I'm going to end my review for Thank you very much. And the next book I've read after a fantasy young adult is another fantasy, but this time under the adult category. And this is the second book of the Age of Madness um, series by Joe Evercrombie. And this is The Trouble with Peace. In case you've been following my channel now, uh, um, the first book of the Age of Madness was A Little Hatred. And that's actually the first book I've read from the author. And actually, my if I can remember the first Grim Dark Fantasy I've read in my entire life. And I have not read the previous installments of the series. Uh, for example, uh, uh, Trouble with Peace. Oh, sorry. What was that again? A Blade Itself. I just dived right into A Little Hatred. And uh, I was in love with the world. actually made it... To my best books I've read last year so picking this one up I was really excited I was really happy and um, yeah it did not disappoint the second book ended with a really high stake and then this one really continued it um, of course I'm not going to dive or deliver what this book is all about because I don't want you guys to be spoiled in case you're still planning to pick the first book so I'm just going to cut the review for this one really short and that is, it was really worth the wait because I've been really anticip anticipating this. And the characters, the development of the characters were really superb. Uh, I really fell in love with the characters in the first book, but I really, really <laughs> fell in love with them even more on this one. And this book made me question about my sanity because why am I rooting for characters that are evil? Like... I should be disgusted <laughs> for these characters but I was actually rooting for them and I it's kind of screwing my brain so I don't know what's happening but this book was really really amazing the story broadens and then the character development was superb I can't wait to pick the next installment I must read and if you're going to ask me do I have to read a little hatred without reading um, the previous books uh, written by the author, like the blade itself. Um, I think yes, because um, I was able to enjoy it even I haven't read uh, the other uh, books. But you're going to miss a lot of things, of course. Uh, it will not definitely affect your 
enjoyment and your experience you, probably your experience kind of but the entire story is really different it was just set in the same world and there was just some references that happened in the previous book i also suggest if you read a little hatred you'll you will be spoiled from the books or from the story of the previous books because it this the little hatred or the age of madness trilogy started like a thousand years after um the story uh for the last book on the last trilogy so if you're still planning to pick those trilogy don't pick little hatred yet pick those because again there will be a lot of spoilers in the age of madness the next book i picked or read after trouble with bees i uh, was really kind of looking for something that is um, light or fast read and I decided to pick a literary uh, fiction and this is Colson Whitehead, The Nickel Boys and also I'm a big fan of Pulitzer Prize for the past years and I picked this one up because this is the newest winner of the Pulitzer Prize for fiction and I thought it's going to be really a fast read and easy read since it's really around almost 200 pages and boy I was wrong. <laughs> Yes, it was short, I was right, but the story was so heavy. This is going to be a new all-time favorite, favorite. Not just a favorite read for 2021, but an all-time favorite. This book blew me away. I totally understand and agree this winning the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. I, of course, don't want to divulge a lot of information about this one because it's just really short. But in case you're wondering what this book is all about, we are following our two main characters. Uh, they are both characters with color. It is in, set in Florida, somewhere around after World War II. And uh, they were teenagers and they were caught. And since they're not old enough to be put in prison, they were put in this institution called the Nickel. Uh, the Nickel Institute or the Nickel College, I, I'm actually not pretty sure. And um, yeah, they were put there to be rehabilitated. But what happened during their uh, their stay is actually they were exploited and they were harassed. And of course, um, racism, the people with color are being treated differently with pe white people. And it, it's actually the Nickel is a representation of micro society and this book really made me really really angry i uh, was really feeling what the main characters were feeling i was really mad of how they were really exploited by other characters and um the best best thing about this book aside from the morals aside from the writing style aside from the characters was the plot twist in the ending the plot twist in the ending was i totally did not see it coming i was really blown away by it and it this one left a mark <laughs> and made it to my all-time favorite book. It's how good this book is. Must read. Totally deserves a Pulitzer Prize. The next book I finished after The Nickel Boys because I was blown away. Actually, I got a little bit of reading slump after The Nickel Boys. So it took me a while to pick the next book. And when I did, I decided to finally pick the next read. And I chose The Silent Patient by Alex Mike Lidis. It's actually a dull um, mystery thriller or murder mystery. I've been hearing a lot about this one. It's actually one of the best mystery, th mystery thriller and good reads a couple of years ago. And I was just really intrigued of what this story is all about. It's really famous when I was still working on Amazon under the Kindle department. Most of my customers have been recommending this under the mystery thriller genre. So. Um, I said, okay, I'm just going to pick that one, that book yet, uh, uh, that, this, this book soon. And uh, yeah, I stumbled in social media, a uh, very cheap hardcover copy. So I made sure that I'm not going to miss that deal. So I pick it and then when it arrived, a day after, I read it. <laughs> and um, this book was... Okay, it was not bad. It was not great as what I've heard from other people. It was definitely overhyped. It was just okay. I've read a lot of Mr. Thrillers already around previous years. And if I'm going to compare my experience reading this one to my experiences I had from those books under the same genre, I this one is definitely not as great as those of my favorite under the mystery thriller genres like The Drive by Jane Harper or the 
the Peter Swanson's The Time Work Killing or oh, I forgot the, the title but anyway um yeah it was it was it was just good it was okay so I suggest if you're going to pick this book soon uh, just limit or just manage your expectations um, just 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 don't really expect too much because you'll just be disappointed if you're going to expect too much so um, I was able to do that I was able to manage my expectations that's why it was just I was not really disappointed um, this is actually following our main character she has witnessed the murder of her, her husband and then um, uh, she has been really silent she never talked after the murder and she was taken into this mental institution for her to be treated and uh, a lot of investigators and detectives have been asking her for what happened that night, who killed her husband and she never really talked. So she was just in trauma state and then one day there's one more um, in characters that came into the picture and he is a doctor and he decided to go to this institution and see this very famous um, mute uh, main character to really investigate and try to see if he can take information from this patient and solve uh, the the murder the mystery that happened years ago um, the last book that I am going to present to you guys in this video is going to be adult fantasy this is the eye of the world by Robert Jordan the first book of the 14 or 15 book series epic fantasy uh, written by Robert Jordan and also eventually by Brandon Sanderson also and I finally picked this I buddy read this one with Richard and Thomas and I was really happy that I finally was able to join the bandwagon and really see what this book is all about because this one is really famous in the fantasy genre community especially in bookstagram uh, bookstagram and uh, YouTube and I've heard a lot of recommendations from my friends on social media to pick this book and yeah I can totally see why it's really similar to Lord of the Rings to be honest um, we're going to follow our set of main characters we have Rand we have I forgot Igwin we have Mo Morian I think uh, it's actually a adventure fantasy uh, the, our main characters are just going to set into this adventure to go to this one destination to the next destination and during those journeys or during those adventures uh, along the road they'll be encountering a lot of problems they'll be ambushed by the enemies and you're just going to develop some powers that kind of trope and I heard that that is the trope that is really similar to Lord of the Rings yeah but um yeah it was the magic system was totally different the story of course is totally different to Lord of the Rings but you can see the resemblance and the inspiration but I'm not complaining because I love Lord of the Rings also watching the movies but I haven't read the book yet uh, the books yet so yeah I am really excited to pick The Great Hunt I have a physical copy already which is uh, mass paperback but I'm not a big fan of mass paperback in case you don't know it's one of my bookish pet peeves from a mass paperback edition so I know I don't know I'm still going to look for a um, hard copper a hardcover copy in the future and then that's the physical copy I'm going to use because I can't really see myself reading the mass paperback copy because of the really small fonts but yeah that's my plan but so far really promising a really great start for a really famous fantasy series it did not disappoint i have expectations but i made sure that i'm going to manage my expectations because again i am um, always thinking it was really overhyped but after reading it it was really worth the hype and i was really glad that i really enjoyed it so yeah so, and yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching my video and see you again on the next episode of my reading wrap up for now this is where this episode 2 ends and i hope everything's fine back there please take care keep safe my name again is joel ubisoft reader bye bye